today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Hi and welcome if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I'm so excited. I love filming this style of videos. You guys will know this is something I want to bring to my channel a little bit more. I have a total guilty pleasure for luxury and designer brands and bags in particular. Bags is like the thing that I seem to have caught the bug for. And I just want to bring this kind of style of video to my channel a little bit more. Built it in with some of my more like high street brands and things like that because I do mix and match it up. Like I'm in my Zara dress today, my little Claire's earrings. So I tend to kind of pick and choose from different brands, but I am just so excited to unbox this bag. Um, I have two things I'm going to be sharing with you. And I also am going to do a little bit of a comparison to a bag that I previously bought about a year and a half ago now because these two bags are quite similar Before we get into that i'm not going to do a seven hour disclaimer but i am just going to say if this style of video is not for you that's fine that's totally cool you don't have to watch it if it's not your cup of tea if i'm not your cup of tea that's absolutely fine you don't have to watch today's video if you do like this style of video i will leave linked in the description some of my other favorite videos kind of on handbags and things like that and where i learned a few things via youtube i'll also leave link below my handbag collection and a recent video that i did that i loved filming which was my um best and worst luxury purchases and i think that might be able to help you if you're looking to purchase something now or you want a bit more tea on what I love and what I don't love. But I won't be accepting any mean comments because if this space is not for you, that's fine. You do not have to sit and watch. If you are new to my channel and you're not subscribed, do go down there and hit subscribe. Also, please, please check me out on Instagram because I'm actually giving away a Prada handbag. Let's do a little bit of an unboxing of this because why the heck not? Over on my Instagram, it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is tag some friends in the real video that I did and you will be in with the chance of winning this Prada nylon 2000 re edition bag, super super cute and black. Gonna go with everything. Um, and it will come with obviously the dust bag and the bag and the box and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'll leave my Instagram below if you do wanna go ahead and follow me over there. Today, we're gonna be talking all things YSL or Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent? I, I'm really sorry, my French is definitely not top tier, but we're gonna roll with it. Some people say Saint Laurent, some people say YSL whatever you want to call it. I personally have an affinity for this brand. I love that they're quite minimalist, chic. I personally think that when I'm older and I look back on photos of me or photos of people with YSL bags, they'll always remain quite timeless. I think the shapes are quite timeless. The styles they do, they're not overly like branded. They don't fall necessarily too much into trends give or take. I do think they're a really good option if you're thinking of purchasing a bag from a brand like YSL. I also think nowadays, like with the current sort of market, they're relatively reasonable. I hate to say that because these bags are obviously extremely expensive, but I just mean relative to other designers like Dior or um, Chanel. You know, this is a, a much nicer price point for a really good quality bag. Like my pieces that I've had from YSL, I stand by being really, really good quality. So yeah, that's a little synopsis there. I'm gonna leave some information below about YSL if you wanna know more about the history of the brand, more about him himself, um, how he worked alongside Christian Dior at 18 and all of that. I find it really fascinating. So I'll leave that link below. I know it's not for everyone. You might just wanna see the damn bag. So this is the bag I have in here. Now, this bag was a gift. So, you know, I didn't purchase this specific bag it was a birthday gift i felt extremely blessed extremely lucky to have this um i was really shocked it was my 25th birthday and i got spoiled rotten 100 but a lot of you guys said you wanted me to unbox it and show it to you so i thought you know what let's give it its own video and i can tell you a little bit more about it compared with another ysl bag i own we're gonna open the box i love how everything with saint laurent is all black i just love that whole vibe and we're gonna take off the little tissue here is the dust bag that it comes with what do you think I've got? Comment below. What bag do you think I'm here to show you? I have actually mentioned it already on my channel. This is her. So this is the YSL Lulu in the puffer size. I believe this is the small size, um, which seems a little bit crazy. But yeah, this is the small size Lulu puffer in this kind of beautiful like creamy white color with the kind of brass gold hardware. Oh my goodness, let me show you her up close. So they obviously do the Lulu in just the chevron and they also do it in this puffer. When this sort of like puffer trend came along, I think I saw it first initially personally with the Chanel 19 bags, I'll pop a picture here. I was 
I liked it, but I didn't love it. As the trend has kind of gone on and it's become more apparent that it's here for a while, I actually, I really like this style of bag. It's a little bit more relaxed. It's a little bit more um, toned down, casual. I like that the leather's quite squishy. You don't, you're not as worried about it being so structured and holding its shape. I just absolutely adore this bag. I cannot believe I don't own a cream or white everyday designer bag. I have my Gucci um, Dionysus bag, but it's definitely more of an evening bag 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 but i just absolutely love this they do this in some larger sizes they do it in a toy version you know i'll leave links below if you're at all interested this particular bag was actually purchased from farfetch there were a couple of issues whilst trying to buy it directly from the ysl store delivery not actually ysl themselves the delivery was an absolute nightmare so it ended up coming from farfetch the leather on this bag is beautiful so you can wear it like this on the shoulder or you can pull it through and do it as a crossbody, which for me, these are just the most practical type of bags. To have that op option of having it as a crossbody, I just find so useful in everyday life. It has the magnetic closure and then kind of lined, it has a zipper compartment at the back and it's a really kind of unusual opening. It's kind of just like, you know, it's, it's really like that relaxed vibe, if you will. I love it, I absolutely love this. I cannot believe she is mine. I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified to use this bag at the moment. In the UK, all we seem to have is hideous like mud and rain just consistently. So it does frighten me to use a lighter coloured bag. So I'm waiting a little bit until I think I'm going to have a sunny day or something and I feel like I can use it. I wear cream all year round. I wear neutrals all year round. So I know this bag is going to go with a lot in my wardrobe. The leather on this is really lovely. It's delicate and squishy, but it doesn't feel like it's going to scratch or mark as much as other kind of like leathers. So I really, really love that. I, I just think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So that was the first thing that I wanted to kind of unbox. I'm gonna compare that to my college bag because I feel like these bags are very, very similar, but slightly different. So I definitely wanna compare the two. Also just wanna show you another little thing I have in here. Oh gosh, nearly whacked myself in the face. Um, This is a little, dun, 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 dun. here we go again. Just hopping in here quickly to tell you guys a little bit more about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I've spoken about them before here on my YouTube channel and I could not recommend them enough. If you're looking to explore your creativity with other like-minded people in a really welcoming community, I honestly think they're fabulous. They offer classes in graphic design, illustration, photography, marketing, social media, the list goes on and on. And I definitely think it's something I would consider exploring if you're interested at all in any of those fields. I personally am currently watching a class by somebody called Kate Ahrens. The class is specifically about personal branding. It's how to craft your own social media presence. I think this is so important when starting a business that focuses heavily on online branding and that is something I'm definitely interested in for this year with a little secret project I have going Classes on. Classes are super easy to follow along. They're succinct enough to give you great information without being too long. And the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will actually get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So make sure you go down there and check that out. They offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on so many different topics. So if you feel like this is you, definitely make sure you go and check out their website and get started on your creative journey little card holder this is beautiful um these are so practical this was my first designer purchase ever was a card holder i think they're a really good introduction to if you want to get into designer ba bags or brands or things like that you know it, it's not a horrific amount of money that you're parting with to the point where it makes you feel sick afterwards um and they are so blimmin useful i mean i honestly use my card holders so much if i'm going out of the house i'll grab my car keys my phone and my card holder and just go they're easy to throw into smaller handbags you can fit loads in them i just i use them all the time this one is in a slightly different leather the leather on this is kind of more please excuse my nails i'm so sorry this is what lockdown life is doing to me kind of like a coated grain leather which i really like because it means it's a lot more hard wearing you have three compartments on the back and three on the front it matches this so beautifully i mean look at that as a set that is just dreamy to me oh i just love it i love this bag so much i cannot get 
over it sorry everyone but yeah i just everything about this i just really really like i know how practical and useful these are i know how much i use them for the summer having everything matching and neutral and light i think is going to be lovely but yeah if you have any more questions about the card holders or anything definitely feel free to ask me below i've bought a couple for friends in the past um i used to have like a pinky colored one which i still have but because i've had it for honestly maybe like seven years now it is a little bit tatty around the edges but i've had it for so long the only thing i will say is i've noticed that ysl hot have popped the prices of these up very subtly over the years so they now retail for quite a bit more than what they did when i first bought mine it seems like that's inevitable every single brand is doing price increases putting the price of their bags up it seems to be just like the common thing at the moment so i am now going to compare the ysl lulu with the YSL college bag so this was one of my I don't think it was my actual first designer purchase but it was one of my early on designer purchases I've spoken about this bag before I've actually got an unboxing on my channel of this bag which I'll leave below it's one of my go-to recommendations for any of my friends that are ever like oh I'm thinking of getting a designer bag what should I go for I just think this is just brilliant I have used this honestly to an inch of its life i do not stop wearing it so i definitely think this is a really good option but i know a lot of people definitely prefer the lulu so i'm just going to show you the kind of you know things that are the same things that are different first thing first this bag comes with a top handle and a detachable strap so you can completely take off the strap from the college bag and just have it as a little top handle bag i've used this on nights out before as a top handle bag and i just love how it looks i think it looks really chic really cool really minimalist that's something i love about it i do also love that the metal on this is sort of like a silver kind of gun metal distressed vibe i think it makes it a little bit grungy a little bit more cool it also goes with pretty much anything in my wardrobe and i, I just really do like this kind of brushed metal so just from a practical perspective it does have a back pocket on the college bag which i probably use this back this back pocket too often i probably stretched it out a little bit but it's just very practical if you want to pop your phone in there when you've got it cross body it's close to you easy to get out i really do like that it has this lift up magnetic closure super similar to the lulu and three compartments i have not tidied this out for you guys i do apologize so i have this front compartment here a zipper compartment which is so handy and then this back compartment with a little side pocket as well as you guys can see it's not you know in immaculate condition i need to sort of clean it up and make it look a little bit better for you guys but when i say i've used this i have used this bag i i do not take it off so a couple of differences firstly i would actually say that the ysl lulu is in the small size is slightly larger than this college bag so this is the kind of side on difference this is them from the front sorry about my angles here everyone this side as you can see this is them from the side super similar and then this is them both at the back like I mentioned at the start, the Lulu does also come in the chevron design. The reason I wasn't a massive fan of the chevron was just purely because my college bag was already in that uh, style. And I, I felt it would be too similar to have, you know, bags so similar. That hence me going for the puffer. I am also just loving this, this puffer moment. So I'm letting it have its thing. Overall, I couldn't recommend this enough. The leather on the YSL college bag is almost coated. So it does not mark. And I think that's just one of the main things I want to discuss. I had a really nice girl message me on Instagram and she was asking me about different YSL bags, what ones she should opt for. She showed me some beautiful ones. Some of the ones she sent me had a really gorgeous leather that just looked delicious. But it, I could see that it was going to mark so, so easily. And if that's something that bothers you, you might want to opt for something that's a little bit more ro robust and hard wearing. And this has just seen me through so much i couldn't recommend it more however what i love about the lulu and what the college bag does not offer is the double strap at the top so the fact that you can kind of pop it on over the shoulder i'm just really enjoying that at the moment i like how it looks i also love that there's two pieces of leather here so when it actually does sit on your shoulder it's quite comfortable that's something that i think a lot of people forget with these chains and that is like sitting on your shoulder all day it can be a little bit uncomfortable again it still gives you the option of doing the crossbody it doesn't have that compartment at the back like the other one does but this just overall has a much more relaxed kind of effortless vibe i do think they are different bags but they're similar in the same breath so if you're going to go for one maybe pick whatever one you know speaks to you a bit more i know the lulu seems to be the one that is just so popular i don't feel like i see as many people with the college bag i see so many more people with the ysl lulu sorry guys i was actually trying to find the prices online and it's a little bit difficult a little bit awkward 
trying to find out what is the price now with custom duties and import taxes and things like that. I was getting a little bit muddled up. This size on the YSL website, the Lulu Puffer in the small in the quilted lambskin is £1,605. So that's what this bag retails for. I know there is a slightly larger size. I think that retails for around £1,800. This is not a cheap bag. But relatively speaking, and I know I sound crazy, when you compare this with some other brands out there, like the Chanel Classic Fat, which is now five and a half thousand pounds, I think this is a great, great bag. It's a great size. I just love it. And I love YSL as a brand. So for me, it's an absolute winner. And then on the YSL website, this bag is retailing for £1,700. I've got those prices right. The Lulu is coming um, in about £100 under the college bag. Obviously, it depends on your style, depends what you prefer, but just thought I'd kind of point that detail out. To me, they're very different bags. I think they're, they're very, very different, but maybe that's just me. It's like when you have a nude lipstick and you tell your boyfriend, like, it's completely different to that other nude lipstick and he doesn't get it. We get it, you know what I mean? I get that these two bags are very different, but some people might be watching this video thinking, they're exactly the same. That is everything for today's unboxing. It's something I've wanted to film for a little while. I hope you enjoyed it. If I gave you guys enough information about the bag, what I think about it, its practicality. I did get a question on Instagram that I did just want to touch on super briefly. And it was regarding buying handbags pre-loved and um, online. So I recently purchased a pre-loved bag let me get her for you. So I recently purchased this pre-loved bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. This particular one is from 1997 and it's a bag I've had my eye on for ever in a lifetime. And a lot of you were asking me about my thoughts on buying pre-loved bags versus brand new. To be 100% honest, it depends on your style, it depends what you're out there looking for, and that's that's up to you. You can get some amazing deals, however, I have noticed that vintage and pre-loved bags are definitely going up in price compared to what they were like three years ago. It's definitely a trend at the moment for the vintage vibe, so I can see these increasing in price quite a quite a lot. So I adore this bag, I'm super happy I managed to get my hands on it. I think in a way it deserves maybe a whole video to itself. I'm considering doing a Louis Vuitton collection, no, your girl does not have like some of the collections that I see here on YouTube. I have a few, I have a handful, but they're all very different and maybe that would be useful. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd want to see it. So as much as I love this bag, I'm so happy I got it. I enjoyed the whole purchase process of purchasing it besides the massive customs and import tax that I was slapped with. If I'm honest, that feeling of buying a new designer bag and just the packaging, the luxury feeling, no one else has had it before. I think that will always just ha have a little soft spot in my heart personally it feels a lot more special that does not mean i am shaming in any way anyone's choice to opt for pre-loved not at all i just know some of you were asking me what process do i prefer when i'm buying and if i'm honest i kind of prefer the process of buying um new designer bags which is not great for me and my bank balance but you know we're gonna roll with it there's a lot worse things i could be spending my money on i guess a few of you have also asked tips for finding good condition thrifted designer bags um a lot of the places i look now for purchasing designer bags came from my friend bella bella stovey i'll leave her link below she is a thrifted pre-loved queen if you ever have any questions about buying a bag pre-loved i honestly would probably recommend dming her i feel like she could really help you out and she's given me a whole list of websites that are like reputable repu rep reputable websites that you know everything's authenticated and it just leaves you with a little bit less stress so i'll leave those websites below but this particular bag i actually got from a recommendation of a girl on here called hey june that's her youtube handle and it's from a, a, D, a brand called i can't get my words out today it's from a website called dct vintage it's a japanese website I, again i feel like this needs a whole video to be honest I did get quite heavily slapped with import taxes on this. So that's the only thing I want to reference. But there's a lot of different places you can buy pre-loved bags. And I will link some below that I know are good places to buy. Do I have any advice for someone making their first designer handbag purchase? How exciting. Firstly, I always think it's so exciting. The handbag like, that you purchase. But that first one, I don't know. I just think it's just so nice. I've said it before and I'll leave a video below to where I give a little bit more info about this make sure you're going to use it there's no point in my opinion buying a bag that you're like oh i'm going to get that because it's different to everything i already own or use i think if you use a bag a lot you want to maybe buy something that's similar to that so you know you're going to get your use out of it i would hate for any of these bags to sit and collect dust i think they should be out there 
like making memories and like having life experiences to then pass on maybe to your children or something that's just how I look at life so make sure you're going to use it uh, if you're into trends go for a trend bag if you're not and you go off trends easily do not buy into the trend bags or the trend hype we go for a classic color something that's going to fit your current wardrobe those are kind of like my general things but if you voice note me or if you send me a dm on instagram about this i can give you a lot more information someone said is it best to wait and experience going into the store for the, for the full experience of buying a bag i think yes i really really wholeheartedly think yes don't let the fear of going in a store stop you from you know buying a bag that way i think a it gives you the option of trying on other things you might not have considered before B, it allows you to see the bag in person, you know, what it's like, how it's going to wear, the leather, if it suits you when you try it on, if you like it. And I, I just think all those things are so important when buying a bag. So obviously you can buy online. This here was bought online, this Lulu. But given the choice, I would buy in store. I also think then you can build up a relationship, hopefully with a sales assistant, and they will help you if ever you're trying to source something or you want to go back to them. Or yeah, I think there's a lot of horror stories out there about buying designer bags from stores. I've had such a small experience, like ne negative experience, like nine times out of 10, I have such good experiences with sales assistants in stores. So don't feel intimidated. You know, at the end of the day, you're the, you're the customer. People are asking if YSL quality is just as good as my other expensive handbags. Yes, I actually think they're one of the best quality bags I have. Um, I'm just thinking in my head if I compare them to some of my other designer brands, I think. YSL might be slightly better quality than Louis Vuitton. I hate to say that because I love LV. Just a couple of things I've noticed in some of my bags um, that I think YSL, yeah, I, re I really love the quality of YSL bags. Really, really do. I think they're really up there. So I think that's about everything. I've rambled on for far too long please please comment below if you feel like i haven't answered your question um if you have any questions below if you know me you know my guilty pleasure is handbags i can't help it it's just something i like to spend my money on um yeah i want these videos to be as informative as, as possible i want them to help you guys or just give you a little bit of like something you know fun to watch but most importantly i want them to help you so if you feel like you're still a little bit confused you want some more like questions answered please just message me on instagram and i'll be happy to help you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it lots more luxury things to come to my channel obviously let me know in the comments if you'd want to see a louis vuitton sort of like collection and review of them as a brand yeah i hope this helped you all in some way thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to check me out on instagram also make sure you enter this before midnight um because you will be in with a chance of winning my prada bag that i'm really excited to give to one of you guys huge shout out to skillshare for sponsoring today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye